believe my next step is to head over to the... An EVA is an extravehicular activity, or more commonly known, a spacewalk. Astronauts need to go outside the International Space Station uh, to carry out routine maintenance, uh, sometimes non-scheduled maintenance, so if something breaks, or sometimes to collect scientific experiments to, to re return that data that's been collected out in the, in the environment of the vacuum of the space back into the space station. Training for a spacewalk involves several different steps, if you like. Uh, you do a lot of training uh, in lessons and theory, then you uh, uh, look at the tools that you're going to be using, you learn uh, those in, on, you know, around a table, you can just pick up the tools and discuss them and, and practice with them and how they operate. So let's go ahead and actuate it, so we'll unlock it, and then we'll move it a little bit, there's a safety crossbar that's in place right now. There is no way to simulate microgravity on Earth. The only way to do it is to fly in space. But we can, we can cheat and have systems that help us. Right now we're in Building 9 here at the Johnson Space Center. We have two sub-facilities inside that help us. One is called the POGO, is the partial gravity system. It basically has uh, one degree of freedom, so it takes off your weight, it lets you swivel around a cent your center of gravity and go up and down so that we can learn how to brace ourselves when we have to operate a tool. Because in space, if I want to twist something, uh, I'm going to twist myself the other way. So we have to learn how to brace ourselves. Now recently, we have been working a lot with a new system called Argos. That is the active reaction gravity system where it, it uh, let us be in microgravity in uh, uh, five degrees of freedom in a spacesuit and work with the actual tools in a simulated microgravity environment. So it's been invaluable in developing the procedures and the tools. The third one is probably the most popular. It's called the MBL, the Neutral Buoyancy Facility. Inside there is, there is a very large swimming pool, about 70 meters long, 40 meters wide, 13 meters deep. Inside the, inside the MBL, we have a one-to-one -one, uh, scaled American segment of the space station. So all the, all the labs, uh, Columbus, Kibo, and, part, and, and the truss on top. Uh, the outside is very, very uh, well replicated underwater. And then with the spacesuits, we can go inside, pressurize them, and move around in three dimensions ar uh, around the space station so that we can learn how to uh, operate and to navigate around the space station. There's a lot of people involved in a um, EVA training day. Not only our instructors, but all the people who run the facilities, the suit engineers and the suit technicians, and of course all the divers, the scuba divers who come underwater with us and are responsible for our safety because Believe me, when you are underwater in a pressure suit like that, you are pretty, pretty helpless. So if something happens, you rely on the divers to get you safely out of the water. Of course, we are not weightless in water, right? You cannot switch off gravity. But we can, what we can do is to regulate the buoyancy of the suits we have to make sure that we're not going up and down underwater and the suit doesn't have a tendency to turn in one direction or the other. So you kind of stay stable in the water and you can sort of work as though you were working three-dimensionally in weightlessness. All right. You work six hours in these gloves and the gloves are pressurized. So it's when you put them on, they might fit snugly, but uh, once they're pressurized, they extend and then you lose the dexterity inside. So basically what you want is you want to have gloves that have nice contact once they're pressurized that you can work properly. The technicians can fine tune then the glove that fits me. So basically they can adjust the length of the finger in a small range and they also want to make sure that it's in between the fingers that this point here doesn't rub during the entire run because in the end you might have uh, bloody fingers or some astronauts lost the fingernails because of having full contact inside the gloves. Before we send our people, European astronauts, to the US, we train them in Cologne in the European Astronaut Center because we also have a pool here and we train them how to do the basics of a spacewalk 
and we practice this with our Columbus uh, module. We have a spacesuit analog, I have to say, it's not a real spacesuit, it's not vacuum tight. But what we can do is we practice already the protocol. So we have always two tethers. We practice how to move outside on the station. We can practice how to uh, attach ourselves with our boots into foot restraints. So we have already practiced the, the basics before going to the US and then the training in the US is way more efficient.